This project is made possible by financial support from Standard Bank. Moving education forward. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Key research has found that by grade three, children in South African schools are already three years behind their older school peers elsewhere in terms of learning. This gap grows as they progress through school to the extent that by grade 9, they are four years behind their peers. Studies have also shown that this low quality of education offered to the poor eventually becomes a poverty trap. The Little African Scientists Project at the Northwest University aims to address this training gap. The outcome that we are looking for in this specific project is a long-term outcome. We would like to see foundation phase education change in the long run. That's what we would like to see. Everyone have identified numerous problems, research have been done, everyone knows that we are currently really under stress within our foundation phase. We all know that we need the change, but what is going to change and how are we going to go about changing it? And this is what we're trying to do here. And this is why a long-term relationship with these schools is so important. We want to go in, we want to win over their trust. And then from there, we would like to start working on a long-term project where we could change the way of thinking, we could change the way of teaching, so that we can change the outcome, so that we can change the level of the learner once they are moved over to the next phase. This project has as its focus from a philosophical perspective that we want to create a community of educators. And this community of educators need to be networked into a framework where there are different role players that will be able to talk to one another on a continuous basis. The first one is definitely the financial support from a body like Standard Bank. Without that financial support, this program will not work at all. Africa is seen to be in, in crisis in terms of health. The focus for the Standard Bank group really is education and, and for us really is if you focus on education, you will in the long run deal with the issues of health. Then the role of the university, which is another role player, is to assure quality control. And another role player, then obviously, are the teachers. They need to buy into this, but they are not only a role player on the receiving end, they're also a role player on the giving end. For us, the focus or the shift really was to focus on teacher development, purely because that's where the need is. And if you look at what the National Development Plans reiterate is that there is a need for teacher support and the, 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 the need for teachers in foundation phase is critical. We also have a situation now where we are having pre-service students that are going into these schools and we want to make a network between the university's theoretical approach and the schools and teachers and learners practical approach to teaching and learning which will benefit all. We have decided to take a systems approach uh, and not going the workshop way. Although workshops or small in-time workshops will be an aspect of the program, from experience we've found that once the people leave the workshop, they go back into reality in their schools, there's a huge problem with extending that theoretical knowledge into a practical focus. We are going to utilize two main platforms. The one is definitely a platform that is going to be set up by the university, sharing on a, on a chat room uh, problems they have, accessing uh, data, meaning articles. The other platform is the utilization of mobile phones, where teachers start talking to one another. Some teachers come out of a period, they experience some problems with what their kids did, and they've got 10 or 15 minutes break. If they go onto their cell phones and they quickly look at the discourse on the cell phone, they might be able to communicate to other teachers that are sitting either in their own schools or in some of the schools that are participating in this project. So there is an in-time communication avenue that we want to open up. There is always a problem in the situation that we have at schools where teachers do not have access to data. 
and they in many cases do not have access to a proper computer. So what we have done for the project is to supply each school with a computer as well as quite a large amount of data. So the teachers do have the option now of working after schools via these computers with data and not having the problem that is a financial handicap. If you look at the amount of learners that have enrolled in Grade 1 in 2004, for example, and the amount of learners that matriculated 12 years later, 64.4% of those learners have fallen by the wayside. Um, and that's an astonishing amount of learners that have not gone through the system. And there's various reasons for that, but one of the key issues is as a result of the foundation phase not being solidified. I think it's going to help the learners of South Africa to ensure that when they exit foundation phase with a secure number sense and the operational fluency. I think this program could not have come at a better time because the situation where we are now this school is actually a quintile one school that caters for the poorest of the poor. So most learners come from informal settlements and they do not have the resources that this program is bringing with. Pachostrum Primary School is an English medium school, although most of our learners uh, are Setswana speaking, so to them it's a second or third language. For these learners to actually be taught mathematics in foundation phase in not their home language really creates problems. So with this project, uh, each learner has got the opportunity to actually, at their own pace, work through the content of the maths. This is brilliant. It's a good book. And the children love it. This program is more about learning and playing. There's pictures of a dog. So the child has a dog at home. Some of them even say, Ma'am, uh, uh, yesterday I, I, I took my dog and I count his his toes, I count his paws. So it shows you, it's things that the child knows. I'm a grade one teacher, um, so we, I actually try to do this a page every day. I have a routine in the class, and um, the moment I'm finished with one thing, they know, and uh, now we're gonna do the university book. This is really a wonderful project, um, especially for us in the Alison class. They started working in the books, and she told me they don't want to stop working. And I think it's because they are capable now, because they're doing work that they can do on their ability level. These learners are very excited as well because they are learning what they know at the moment. They are definitely benefiting. They are learning to learn. To enable us to follow through on this specific project, within this budget, we have budgeted to appoint extra staff members so that we have the capacity. All our staff members within our office work very closely on this specific project to ensure that every single step that we need to follow through are quality controlled and that absolutely everything goes 100% according to plan. Numbers, operations and relationship as a content area for mathematics is the main, main, main hub or main focus of mathematics in foundation phase. Those skills and knowledge acquired at that phase, they're going to build it up up until the learners exit from, from other phases like FET. If you want to have a strong building, obviously you need a very strong foundation. If the foundation is strong, and uh, for us this will be a very positive thing, then obviously yes, they will be able to cope with what is coming. I believe that. <laughs>